Hi, Weight Watcher friends, it's me, Return to Weight Watchers now. Um, I am coming to you today on August, I think it's August 18th. I'm on vacation, and so I haven't really been keeping up with the days all that much. Um, so it's been a little while since I've came on here and made a video. Uh, I think it's been maybe, maybe a month or so, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, a lot has changed in the last few weeks. Um, if you followed my channel at all, you know that I was having problems with my boyfriend. He is gone. Um, thank goodness. I was just on an emotional roller coaster all the time. Uh, he went back to his ex. Uh, moved. He moved out. Went back to his ex. Um, kind of. Kind of unexpectedly, but expectedly. I don't know. Um, we were having a lot of problems. So anyway, um, I guess. From what I understand, he was pretty much um, never really separated emotionally from her. And I'm so glad that he's gone. We did a lot of fun things together, and I really did love him. But um, he also caused me a lot of stress, and he didn't do a lot for me. He didn't have anything to bring to the table. So really, mostly, he was just uh, baggage for me. So... I guess if you are have ever been through that kind of thing, it's hard after the breakup because you just go back and you know all the signs were there and for a whole entire year, um, I honestly knew that it was not a good thing for me and all my friends told me it wasn't a good thing and I just kept on trying to make it work and so now it's been a couple of weeks and I feel so much better. I'm just like... I can't even, I can't even believe. And then, um, kind of out of the blue, somebody that, um, I work with kind of indirectly, um, has came into my life and is trying to, um, has been here for me to kind of help me through. And I guess he, um, would like to start a relationship and he says, and I'm trying to, um, get to the point where I can do that. It's too soon right now and I'm trying to get over this situation right now. So anyway, what all that has to do with my weight loss, I guess, is just that i um, trying to get in a better place emotionally so that I can concentrate more on myself and less on a bunch of nonsense. And so that's always a good thing. Um, my weight this morning was 194, which is pretty good because um, I think towards the end of my relationship, which I guess I was like around 198 and I was getting way too close to the 200 number, which is where I refused to go back to. So I'm back slowly getting back down. Um, and I've been on vacation. I gained a little bit of, I didn't gain any weight really because my weight really just fluctuates about five or 10 pounds. Well, not 10, but about five to eight pounds. And so I, um, am right really where I need to be. Um, and focusing, I was just looking back, and then back in April um, 18th, I was 194. So, April, May, June, July, August. So, I've been kind of holding around that whole that same weight. I've been up and I've been down. I've been as low as 189. So, I will get there. I'll get back there. Um, just take a few few weeks, and I'm going to get under, back into the 80s. Um, so what else is new? I've been still doing a lot of hiking um, when I can, when I get a chance. Um, I went to on vacation. I'm really, really sunburned. I don't want to show too much, but if you can see, I'm really burnt. Um, and so that's good. I guess I needed a little, little sun in my life. I uh, kind of, I'm still burnt. My nose is burnt. And it looks, it makes my nose look big because when I wear my sunglasses, I guess I get all the sun on my nose and then my nose gets burned and I, my eyes are pale, so I just look funny. But I was looking at some pictures from the uh, dinner I went to the other day and it looked kind of funny, but whatever. Um, so I don't I guess this video is going to be kind of about the breakup and how I'm doing now because I think that's a big thing in my life right now. Um... I'm getting to get back to the things that I used to do for me and um, going out with friends and spending time with my grandchildren and just doing all the things that I miss doing. Um, I was watching the music videos the other day and I was just like, I'm so getting close to being back to the person that I was before him and his mess came into my life. So just 
I don't know. I'm, I, I probably mentioned before I'm a nurse and there is something about nurses. We are always so many of us. I don't know why. And maybe this is a broad generalization and people might send me some hate mail for this or whatever. But honestly, a lot of the friends that I've had through the years that were nurses were always with the wrong men, always with men that aren't pulling their weight in the relationship or, you know, doing something wrong. And I'm telling you, he did every single thing that I asked him not to do. Um, apparently even my ex was in my house and maybe even another girl that he was talking to and um, he had sex with them in my house apparently so the rumor is but uh, I mean who does that it's such a level of disrespect it's so disgusting um, I'm I'm over that I'm just like my bitterness is gone I feel like who who would do that so um, and then like other things that I asked him not to do was not not to make me look stupid at work. Well, I guess this does make me look stupid at work because people already had told me what a jerk he was and everything and not to not to let him do this to me. And then his ex has just made sure to rub it in my face and she made sure to let me know that he said some rude things about my body. And um, I just think it's so funny that those two are exactly alike and they're completely made for each other and um, uh, go, go have each other because I don't, want to have anything to do with him and as for her um she's had a lot more years of it with him and put up with a lot more than I will ever have to and I'm so thankful that I only wasted one year of my life so you know that's just how it is and um I'm really thankful to my friends who've been listening to me complain and and just make bad remarks and be smart aleck about it and um, I just need to get it all out, and um, my friend that I have now, who's a really great guy, um, has really been there and listened to me, and he doesn't say much, and he'll, I'll try to show him things on my phone, and he'll take my phone, and he'll delete it, and he'll just be like, you don't need to look at that, you don't need to get this out of your mind, just get it, don't think about it, um, and I really, really appreciate his um, caring about all of this, I just don't even know how he's even wanting to get into this mess but he said that when the smoke clears he'll be the one standing there waiting and I believe him and I also believe that he is the person I mentioned before that I work 12 hour shifts and um, when I'm at work I'm completely uh, cut off from the outside pretty much I work in a prison so um, I can't really um, you know I can't just go and check up on things and I can't just call whenever and you know we have a lot of limitations and stuff like that um, this is a person that I really believe would be able to handle that. Um, it's not even that I think or I question it. I know he would be able to. And from the start with the other guy, I was, I questioned it from the very, very beginning. Um, he made me nervous. I would get anxiety when I went to work. I would completely like lose my cool at work and like almost have anxiety attacks. And I'm really not like that. And so... I'm usually pretty cool and pretty laid back and um, I had gotten to the point where I was kind of controlling and I the only reason I could think it was was just that I felt like everything was so out of my control that the one little things that I could control I was like latching onto and really holding on to and so um, I'm glad to let all of that go I just it was weighing me down so much I just can't I can't even believe that was me. Every day that goes by, I just feel so much better and I'm just doing much, much better. And I'm not gonna say that I'm completely in a great place yet where I wanna be. I'm still working through a lot of it. Um, and I've been on vacation, so that makes it easier. When I go back to work, it'll be a little bit harder. Um, but I'm ready. Uh, I think I have about five more days on my vacation for now. So my vacation is gonna be winding down and I've needed this so much. I have wait for a long time to take I have had 11 days off by the time I go back and I just really needed it came at the most perfect time so with that said I'm going to start back um, journaling my food here um, this week and I think I'm going to try to I'm so bad at counting points but I think I might be able to do it now just because I have more time to concentrate on myself um, if you remember my goal is to get under um I want to get to 160 by my birthday next year, which really just means I have to lose a little bit of weight every month. It's not even huge numbers. And so 
Um, I gotta get really working on it though. Um, I've been going to the gym um, when I get a chance. It is hard to find time sometimes to do the exercising, but um, I do feel a lot better about myself when I do. So um, I just wanted to let you guys all know that I'm still out here and I'm still trying and I'm still struggling with a lot of other people, but I haven't given up and I'm back in the game and I'm be gonna be better. I just know it. And um, thank you for all your support for the people that, um, you know, comment and uh, whatever. So I hope everybody's doing well and has a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.